Ladies and gentlemen in Jesus Christ, today I love to say a few words about St. Thomas. St. Thomas was born a Jew and was called to be one of the twelve disciples. St. Thomas was born in first century in Galilee, Israel and died on December 21, 72 in St. Thomas Mount, India. But his feast is celebrated every 3rd of July of every year. At the Last Supper, when Jesus told his disciples that he was going to prepare a place for them, to which they also might come, become, they know both the place and the way. Thomas pleased that they did not understand and receive the beautiful assurance that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and life. Lastly, and moreover, St. Thomas is remembered for being absent from the upper room the first time Jesus appeared to the disciples after his resurrection. Thomas dismissed the account of the others by saying, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hand and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. In Luke chapter 20, 25. Eight days later, Thomas made his act of faith. He fell at the feet of Jesus and said, My Lord and my God. And Jesus replied, Because you have seen me, Thomas, you believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe John chapter 20 25 to 29 can read St. Thomas is best known for his rule in verifying the resurrection of his master Thomas was not willing to believe the other apostles had seen their risen Lord on the first Easter Sunday. Therefore, he is well known the title of Doubting Thomas. Thus, St. Thomas was making public profession of faith in the divinity of Jesus. St. Thomas ultimately reached India, carrying the faith to the Malabar coast, which still boosts a large native population calling themselves Christians of St. Thomas. St. Thomas is venerated in Malabar Church, Assyrian Church of the East, Roman Catholic Church, Eastern Orthodox Church, Anglican Communion, Lutheran Church. Traditionally, St. Thomas is said to have traveled outside the Roman Empire to preach the gospel. He was traveling as far as, as Tamilagam, which are the state of Tamil Nadu and Kerala in present-day India. In Kerala, 52 AD, many people are baptized by St. Thomas. 
they are known as St. Thomas Christian. St. Thomas wrote a prayer to the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, expressing his own need for help and depends upon her. Let us also pray to our Mother Mary with St. Thomas. The prayer goes like this. O Blessed and Sweet Virgin Mary, Mother of God, filled with all tenderness, daughter of the Most High King, Lady of the Angels, Mother of all the faithful, on this day and all the days of my life, I entrust to your merciful heart my body and my soul, all my acts, thoughts, choice, desire, words, deeds, my entire life and death, so that with your assurance, with your assistance, all may be ordered to the good according to the will of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. From your beloved Son, request from me the grace to resist firmly, firmly the temptation of the world, and flesh, and the devil. My most holy lady, I also beseech you to obtain for me true obedience and true humility of heart, so that I may recognize myself truly as a sinner and powerful as without the grace and the help of my Creator and without your holy prayer. Obtain for me as well, O most sweet lady, true charity with which from the depths of my heart I may love your most holy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And after him, love you above all other things, grand O Queen of Heaven, that ever in my heart I may have fear and love alike for your most sweet Son. I pray also that all the end of my life Jew, mother, without compare, gate of heaven and advocate of sinners, will protect me with your great pity and mercy, and obtain for me to the blessed and glorious passion of your Son, and through your own intersection, receive in hope the forgiveness of all my sin. When I die in your love and his love, may you direct me into the way of salvation and blessedness. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen in Jesus Christ, where are we standing now in 3rd July 2017? How many priests are preaching the gospel to the unknown Christian? So let us pray to all the priests and the people, those who preach good news to the people, unknown people. May the Lord give the strength and mind and protect them and give them strength to preach the good news to the unknown people about Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.